Hello class, I'm Mr. Boyd, and today we'll be going over related rates problems. Related rates problems are very simple and easy. It involves finding a rate at which a quantity changes. By relating that quantity to other quantities whose rates of change are known. Simple, right? Related rates problems apply calculus to everyday life, such as filming the launching of a spaceship or saving someone from a shark attack. Plus, they are used in science and engineering professions. To tackle these problems, you need basic derivative knowledge, basic geometry knowledge, and knowing how to do implicit differentiation. Okay, let's break it down to some steps for you, class. One, diagram the situation and label the diagram. Two, identify and write down the rate you are looking for and the rates which you are given. This is what you need and what you know. Three, compose an equation relating the variables from your diagram. Four, differentiate implicitly. Five, substitute any known values and rates and solve. And finally, six, re-express your final answer in terms of the context of the problem. There are different related rates problems, ones that involve triangles, spheres, cylinders, and even cones. But to make it easy, we're just going to deal with triangles today. Now let's break this down into an actual problem. Here's the problem. One day, I was going on an adventurous hike in the woods. All of a sudden, I saw my spirit animal, a red-tailed squirrel, run up a 20-foot tree. Naturally, like any nature lover would, I scrambled up the tree in search of the squirrel. However, the tree wasn't stable enough, so mid-climb it tipped and smacked into a straight cliffside, creating a diagonal line. The tree somehow uprooted itself, and the bottom started sliding on the ground horizontally at a rate of 4 feet per second. The question is, how fast is the tree sliding down the side of the cliff when the top of the tree is 8 feet from the ground? So now that we've drawn the diagram, we have to identify what we are looking for. It's going to be dy over dt, the derivative of y. Now we have to identify what we know, z equals 20, dx over dt equals 4, and y equals 8. The qualities that are changing in this problem are x and y. Now we have to identify the equation that relates the variables. Since the problem is about a right triangle relating three sides, we can use z squared equals x squared plus y squared, or Pythagorean theorem. Now we have to implicitly differentiate it and take the derivative of the equation. And that simplifies to z, z prime equals x, x prime plus y, y prime. The next step is to substitute the numbers in for z, z prime, x prime and y. The next step is to find other variables we're ultimately looking for by using Pythagorean theorem once again. After that, we solve it all out and we get our answer, which is 9.165 equals y prime. This means the tree is sliding down at 9.165 feet per second. Oh boy, I hope I'm okay. There are other related rates problems that involve using theta and measuring the rate at which an angle changes. Remember that. This is Boyd, signing off on episode 27 of You Can Do Calculus. Remember, you can do calculus too.